as you can see, I'm on a slightly larger bed than normal. If you've been keeping up with my other videos, currently Yago's bed is squished together with mine because if you watched last weekend's video, I had friends over. If you didn't, check it out now. I will leave a link in the description below as well as at the end of this video. There will be a little thing you can click on. But um, it's really comfy and big and I like this blanket a lot and I don't ever want to get up in the morning. So today for my video I decided I'm going to answer some of the questions that I'm frequently asked about being in Spain and an exchange student and everything about where I live and school and friends and things that I do. So let's get started. Ashlyn, where do you live? So I currently live in this little town called Cereira, which the biggest city near me is called Akarun. It's about an hour away and it's actually the capital of Galicia. No, it's not. Currently, I live in Cereira, which is about an hour away from the biggest city called A Coruña, which is the capital of my little province of Galicia. If you're from the States, you can think about it like this. Spain is to the U.S., as Galicia is to Minnesota, and then I was from Hennepin County, so Hennepin County is kind of like A Coruña, part of Galicia, so it's like a county part of it, and then you have your towns and everything in there. What is it like where you live? Well, where I live, right now it's winter time, so it rains every day. Every day. Every day. At about the same time every day, too. You can pretty much predict when it's going to rain. However, because it rains every single day, it's really, really green here, and there's lots and lots of plants, there's trees everywhere. We actually have, okay, so we have pine trees, but then we also have eucalyptus trees as well. And forestry is one of the main components of agriculture and stuff here in Galicia, especially in my area. So we have that, as well as the fact that three blocks away from my house is the beach and the ocean. So that's really nice. Technically, technically, if you walk for about two minutes, you're in El Campo, which is kind of like the farming area where people will keep their sheep and their goats and cows and other sort of animals like that. Usually it's in between the 40s and the 50s on a good day, and for you guys back in Minnesota, my home, lovely state, I'm so sorry about what's going on. I just got a Snapchat from Kaylee showing me how high the snow was up in our windows, and she asked me why they still had school. And I'm kind of wondering the same thing. But before you criticize me for saying that it's cold here, which it is, first of all, there's no central heating in any house. So, I have this little thing right here that I'm supposed to use to warm my room, and my room only. So if I ever want it warm somewhere else in the house, I have to go plug another one of these things in, in a different room. So there's no central heating, and the cold here, the cold in Minnesota in the Midwest is really dry. Here, it's not. It's really, really sticky and humid, so that means when you're cold, you're cold for hours, no matter how many layers you put on, or sweatshirts you wear, and socks you put on your feet, and how high you turn up that thing. So, yes, it's cold, and it's rainy too, and the rain doesn't help at all, so that's not very fun. What is school like, and how many classes are you in a day? I'm enrolled in 10 classes. However, I only go to about 6 or 7 a day, and my schedule changes every single day. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I get done with school at about 1.45, and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I get done at about 2.45, and then I take my 30-second walk back home, and I'm in my room and such. So, that's that. I take a variety of classes. I take History of Spain, I take History of Philosophy, History of Music and Dance, History of Art, Universal Literature, Castellano, which is normal Spanish, Gallego, which is the kind of Spanish they speak here, it's like Spanish mixed Portuguese, religion, and we don't do anything in that class except for watch movies, and hmm, what else? Geography? I'm forgetting one. Uh, uh, I'm in English class, that's right. There are anywhere between 7 students to about 19-ish, 20-ish. So, our classes are relatively small, which is really nice, but, nevertheless, those are my classes. What do you do in your free time? If you read my written blog, 
I don't know if I've mentioned this in a video before, but I'm running a marathon in less than a month in Barcelona, so in my free time, I run. And I recently, not so much, because February has been just full of rain. So, apart from this month, I usually run a ton, and during the weekends I run a lot. I am in soccer, so I have practices on Mondays and Wednesdays, and games on the weekends, usually on Saturdays. I take guitar lessons every Thursday, and when I'm at home, I really like to take naps because siesta time is observed here, and it's observed everywhere, but especially since my town is so little, everything closes between the hours of like 2.30 to like 5.30. I'm on the internet and watching movies or TV shows a lot. Recently I started Supernatural. It's really, really good. Sometimes during the weekends I will spend time with friends. They have to study a lot. so. I don't see them outside of school very much, but come this summer I will see them more. And I think that's about it. What is your host family like? Yeah, I live with my host mom and my host brother who's 15 years old. My host dad lives in Madrid because that's where he works and we see him usually around the holiday times. Um, living with them, they're super, super nice and they're really, really helpful too and they want me to improve my Spanish and they basically just treat me like their daughter. My host mom Whenever I go somewhere, like to Federal to see friends or something, she always makes sure that I call her when I'm on the bus and when I get off the bus and when I'm getting on the bus again. Having a 15-year-old brother is very, very different than an almost 17-year-old sister who's your best friend. So I'm learning how to live with a boy, which is really weird. And I never understood them until now. And I get the fact now. Girls, if you have a brother, and they ever bothered you growing up or played pranks on you or just bothered you and made fun of you just because they could and they knew it bothered you, I understand that now. It's... that's how boys and brothers work. What's the best food that you've had this year? Jamón Serrano. Where have you traveled so far? So far, I've been to Vigo and I've been to Coruña and Ferrol if that kind of counts and... I've been to Almeria, and Granada, and Córdoba, and Madrid, and I think during Semana Santa we're gonna go to Sevilla, hopefully. Um, if I get things worked out, I believe I'm going to the Canary Islands, specifically Tenerife, for Legendary Carnaval there. And hopefully I'd like to go to Portugal. Later this year, I will be going on a cruise to France and Italy, and it starts in Barcelona, and my marathon is in Barcelona, so there. Um, but I hope to do a lot more traveling in the future, because I just want to see Spain and other places, and that'd be great, because I love to travel so much. So that's where I've been so far. Where are you going to university? Next year, I will be a Golden Gopher, and I will be attending University of Minnesota Twin Cities. What are you doing in university? I don't know, so stop asking me! I'm asked on pretty much a weekly basis, if not multiple times a week, what I'm going to be doing with my life. And I get asked about people at home, as well as the fact as people at school, because they're curious and everything. But at the same time, when the teachers ask the whole class and you go around in a circle and everyone says what they want to do with their life, it's kind of like, well, I just keep changing my mind, so I don't know, and I'm 18 years old. I shouldn't have to know. So I don't, I don't know. Don't ask, please. Thank you. Do you miss people back home? I kind of miss people back home. I miss being with people who I'm familiar with, more so, I guess. I still have friends here, but I don't know, sometimes. What do you miss most about home? The number one thing that I miss from home the most is hands down going to church and being at church and being with the summer Bible study group that I was with and my friends from church and being in a Christ community because how I like to worship God is being in fellowship with other people, whether that's being in Bible study or singing or playing my guitar with other people or just being with other people when someone's teaching and taking notes and just, I'm a people person and I like to be with people like that. So 
Why did you decide to become an exchange student? Why I became an exchange student can be a whole other video. I'll give you a short snippet right now. I'll make another one later about it. But basically, I wanted to see the world and I wanted to become fluent in another language because I am very, very passionate about Spanish and language in general. So I wanted to learn Spanish. I wanted to see the world. I didn't know what I want to do in college and I still don't know what I want to do in college. Now I know where I want to go. Last year I didn't. But I just wanted to experience the world from another point of view. You can start drawing connections between the similarities and differences and everything great in between. So that's kind of why I wanted to become one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a nice thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving links below to my written blog if you want to check that out, as well as my Flickr photo stream where I upload all the pictures that I take from this year, as well as my Instagram and my Tumblr. If you have any more questions that I didn't address, or if you have any questions about something that I said in this video, leave them in the comments below, or Facebook me, or send me a message just some way, just let me know and I will answer them for you. So thanks for watching, peace out guys! Super, super nice. <laughs> that the Nitro Sun, which is legitimately the first time 